today we are going to do a cook video we are going to cook some chapatis yay hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do a cook video it's been a while since we did one and uh, if you're new welcome and uh, don't forget to subscribe for my old subbies hi guys i've missed you but now i'm back i'm back i'm back guys so today we are going to do a cook video we are going to cook some chapatis yay i know everyone loves chapati in kenya this one of those meals that so loved you can eat it as a snack and also you can eat it as a meal it's not so easy to make some people find it challenging so I'm going to show you how I make my chapatis soft and what soft and what soft and and, and smooth like they're so soft you can eat them without even tea or stew so you want to be clean so just going to wash my hands <laughs> clean so here we have the ingredients we have the all-purpose flour this is one kg this is what we are going to use then we have some sugar then we have some salt I have some salt here then two cups of warm water it's lukewarm water not too hot just lukewarm then I have extra Flour. This is what I've used for rolling the needed what <laughs> flour, the needed dough. So we are going to start by putting the dry ingredients first in this basin. So here it is. I'm going to put all of this. It's one kg. So I'm going to put it there. All of it. You can use your prepared flour. You don't have to use eggs. Then I'll have like uh, two tablespoons of sugar. Which is one and two. Then I'll have like a teaspoon of salt or one teaspoon of salt. There. Then I'll mix this up. Those are the dry stuff first. Okay, oh and I forgot I needed some oil. Oh, how did I forget that? So yeah, we use some oil like half a uh, half a cup of oil, cooking oil, cooking vegetable oil. So first I mix the dry ingredients, then, then I'll add some oil, this is basically new, hasn't been used, so let me get that out of the way. put like uh, I think like a half I know I know how to measure with my eyes so I can see that's enough then we start mixing this first mix the oil and the flour until you can see these oil lumps and until it's so smooth it's like how you bake a cake using the rubbing method. So I mix up the oil 
and we have flour until I'm satisfied that it's okay like that don't mind my bag which can't come off Make a small well in the middle, and you add your water. Kidogo kidogo, don't allow add a lot. Kidogo kidogo, then you start mixing, mixing. Kidogo kidogo, you go adding more and more until you're satisfied. So. And I took your guess of Kidogo Kidogo. So that if you put a lot at once, your dough might become runny, and that's not what we want. We don't want it so hard, and we don't want it so runny. We want it to have that good consistency. So you continue kneading, kneading as you add. More and more water. Keep kneading. As it gets harder, you add a little bit more until you have the flour, all of it in a dough. Continue. Whatever you are baking, you are kneading from is so clean. So you are going to transfer it here. My service is already clean. I'm just going to put a little flour there, and then I transfer my dough there, so that I continue kneading. You have to knead until it is well done. So you keep pulling and pushing. It's not sticking on the surface, so it means it's well done. So I'll just make it into a ball like that, just like that. Smooth ball. And then I'll transfer it back to this container. Put it there. If you have, a, you can cover your container with a, a cover if you have, but I don't have it in my clothes. I can't find it. So, what I'll do, I'll just use this paper. then I'll cover it like that and let it rest for about 20 minutes then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what's next so we we'll let just let, let that rest for a few minutes as I make the stew I'll be cooking some meat and some other vegetables so see you in a bit so our flour has been sitting for about 20 minutes so let's check on it wow yeah it's so soft wow 
so 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 soft so what we are going to do we are going to take it out of here put it back there and then where's my rolling pin i don't know even where my rolling pin is okay so i'm going to just spread it just like you can see just spread it with your hands you see the way it's spreading so nicely you don't even like need the rolling pin you spread it like that let me get my rolling pin oh it's a tiny one i don't have a big one but if you have the big one the better so you just spread it spread it Run as much as you can. Let me try and lift it up. Oops. There. Spread. We get to our cooking oil and add. And then spread it. Spread not much, don't put a lot because you don't want your chapatis to be too oily. So. on that side before you turn to the other side then we'll put yeah, some cooking oil on it so it, just dry it on that side don't let it overcook dry it then you can as well turn it on this other side Cook it on that side. If you let it cook too much before we add the oil, it should become so dry. So that is the first one. Let me get the number two. We go for number two. Yeah. And it's a bit lighter on this side. You see what I was talking about, guys? It's so light here. Not the same as here. can just keep turning or you can let it cook on its own your wish make sure you don't touch the pan when you are cooking you don't want to get burnt so we turn it on this other side a little bit put it on the plate Wherever you are putting them, take another piece. If you can't do many, you can just cook one by one. But myself, I love cooking two, like about five per time, so that I'm done faster. My chapatis are very light. If you want the heavy one, you can still do as well. Then I go back to these original ones and I place them on top of that like that then now I'll go get my cooking one here it is let me place it here so just now go ahead and check so now I can add the cooking oil to the chapati until it's golden brown. Add. Add as much as you want, but not too much. And keep turning like that. And keep checking. 
see it's turning to a golden blood. Continue checking. See it's turning to a golden nice golden brow. See? Beautiful. Wait until it's well done. Then you come get this one like that. Pull and then you turn and flip on that side. See how beautiful it is? Place those ones and then add some oil. Will you continue cooking the other side of the first chapati. Just like this. This way you don't get to get burnt as when you cook one by one. So continue until but you keep checking and checking and checking until you are satisfied with the color. You see? It's cooked so slow. So yeah, that's how you cook chapatis. That's how I basically cook them. You see? Starting to turn into a brownish color. Yeah. You wait until it's done to all parts brown. Don't remove when it turns brown only on the middle. You have to wait until it's turned brown, just like that. Then what I do next is I lift the first three, like that, and then I flip. This one is not cooked, the other one is cooked. I flip like that, and then I place this one here, so that they can suck some of the oil on the already done chapati. Then you continue just like that. So, while the, this one is cooking, again I lift this one, lift the already done chapati and place it in my plate or my basin. And make sure you cover it so that it, they don't get dry. So, you see it's cooking.